Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the Velostrone launcher. You can see the launcher in the middle of my screen here and most people experience the launcher for the first time when they install Velostrone because it is our installer for the program. However, what many customers do is they only run the launcher once to install Velocidrone and then they run Velocidrone and make a shortcut to the executable for Velocidrone and then run Velocidrone from the executable and this is completely incorrect this is not the correct way to run Velocidrone and I'm going to explain why. So Velocidrone runs using a patching system and the launcher is not only the installer but it is also the patching system. So if you only run the launcher once to install Velocidrone and then you never run it again, then your SIM will go out of date. And there are problems with your SIM going out of date because when we make changes to the SIM, and you can see changes to the SIM in the change log, so if you click this little button here, it will show you all the changes that have happened to the SIM going back quite a long time but you can scroll through this and you can see all the updates that we've made to the sim in this change log and these get added in every time we update the sim and you click this little button to go back if you don't run the launcher then what happens is as we add in new functionality to Velostrone we'll add in new capability to the network features of Velostrone what this means is that we have to upgrade the network level when we do that. Now when we upgrade the network level, that means that only clients who are the same network level as you can join your sessions and only you can see other clients who are the same network level as you. So if I make a new update for, to Velostrone and I include something new like Handicap Mode or Nemesis or something like that, when I do that I have to update the network level in order to make sure there isn't an incompatibility between older clients and newer clients. In other words, we don't have a situation where, where a client who doesn't have handicap capability joins a session where there is handicap capability running. So that would cause errors and it would cause one of those clients to crash. So to protect against that, I update the network level and the moment I do that, anyone who is on a different network level to you will no longer be able to see your sessions and no longer will be able to join your sessions. So we quite often get tickets from people saying hey I'm trying to multiplayer I don't see any sessions and that's almost always an indicator to me that that customer hasn't updated their client. We also get tickets from people saying me and my friend are playing together and we can't see each other's sessions. I host a session he can't see it, he hosts a session I can't see it and that again is one of the clients is up to date and one of the clients is not up to date and therefore they just cannot see each other. So it is an absolutely imperative that you continue to run this launcher and click this play button in order to launch the sim because every time you run this launcher it does a check and it will update the sim to the latest level and make sure that you have the latest code and that you can play online and see online sessions. Now occasionally I get a complaint that says every time they run this it reinstalls the sim. So every time you run the launcher it reinstalls and that is normally a very very simple problem whereby the customer has not unzipped the launcher when they got it. So it comes in a zip file from a website and you have to unzip it to a no, new folder and then run it from that new folder and when a sim just keeps on reinstalling and reinstalling and reinstalling every time you run the launcher that's normally because you open the zip and then just ran the launcher straight from inside the zip and that stops the sim from installing correctly it actually installs it inside the zip file and then every time you run it it will try and reinstall so that's why that happens and it's normally the reason why people don't run the launcher because I think it's going to reinstall every time but that is actually an installation error that causes that it's not a bug in the launcher 
Okay, so I just wanted to do this video just to talk about the launcher, talk about what it does and why we have it. And it is there to keep you up to date. It is there to make sure that you can always see online sessions. So please make sure you always run the sim using it. And do not make shortcuts to the Velostrone.exe or the Velostrone.app if you're on a Mac because that will stop you from getting updates. You'll go out of date and then all of a sudden you won't be able to see sessions, play online, play with your friends, use new features of the sim and so on and so on. Okay, so that's it. That's all I want to talk about. I'm sorry it's not been very visually interesting having this launcher on the screen all the time. I just want to explain why we have the launcher and that it isn't just an installer. It is the thing that keeps your sim up to date. Okay, that's it. I'll see you on the next video.